Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to the digital art series here on PSD Touch Plus. Today, we are going to talk about sketching. This is the first and most important part of digital art because whenever you start a painting, you always first start with a sketch. Everyone has a different way of laying out the composition but sketching is definitely a really important skill that you need to learn. I would like to show you quickly an example which I've used in previous tutorials as well. So a painting like this also starts with a sketch and this sketch as you can see is really simple so it's just a, a quick sketch done in like five minutes or even less just to find the proportions and scale and character. Your lines should be fluid and quick, just following the motion and capturing the character. And once you're happy with your sketch, then you can always simplify it or clarify it. And then you can add colors and then you can work on the details. So this is usually the way I uh, create a sketch for a final painting so it usually looks like this and I always tell my students that, that whenever you create a sketch even though it looks really simple this is the most important part of the whole painting if your sketch is not good if you can't see uh, the final painting in the sketch then you shouldn't continue with that you should start a new one that's why I say it's good to make it quickly because if you spend too much time on a sketch it's not a sketch anymore it's already a line drawing or a painting let me show you another example we have also seen this one so again a quick sketch of this warrior and then the clarified version of, uh, of the same sketch the clean line drawing then the color blocks, details, shadow, and so on and so forth. So once again, this painting starts again with a draft or sketch. So from this to this, uh, we go back in time. Remember, your lines doesn't have to be clean on your sketch or on your draft. The reason for creating this is to make sure that your composition work and the proportions of your figure are correct. And you can draw without a reference or with a reference. These two examples which I've shown here are without references, so I just experiment with lines and I try to imagine a figure, uh, even though it's a realistic or a caricature uh, figure. So these two examples. But if you want to draw from a reference image, let's say from a photograph, then you can easily do that in Photoshop. And this is a technique that I really like to use in Photoshop. And I would like to show an example uh, now for you. So, for example, here's a photograph on the left. And there's the sketch on the right. This is usually what I do. I keep a photograph uh, reference on the left and then I start drawing here on the right. The advantage of having the photograph and your line drawing in the same Photoshop document is that you can always compare them and make sure that your proportions are good. I highly recommend not to draw over photographs. So don't start using your brush and starting draw over a photograph like this, okay? Because that's just simply copying or tracing an image. It can be useful as well uh, for a couple of times, but you will learn more if you draw next to the photograph, okay? So use the reference on the left and then draw on the right or anywhere else where you, where you feel uh, confident to draw. And then once you have most of the lines in place, then if you have it on a separate layer, so your sketch on a separate layer and your photograph on another layer, then you can just simply use the move tool and drag and move the drawing over the photograph. Because the photograph is set to multiply, I can easily see through it and I can see my lines. If I want to see it better, I can even reduce the opacity of the photograph like this 
and then I even see better uh, my drawing underneath it so I can see that the legs and the bottom part of the body is fairly okay even though I have some alignment problems here on the feet but the biggest problem is that the head is not in the correct position and also the upper body should be more uh, to the top so it, it should be more stretched but all in all I can tell that the proportions are not bad so it's a little bit different position but the proportions are fairly okay but I can al always make my changes after I've seen what's the problem okay so it's very similar if you have ever attended art classes and uh, you uh, you tried to draw the human figure from a model uh, you always had your drawing and most of the times your teacher came to you and made the corrections on your paper or helped you to see what's the problem in the proportions or on, on the on the shape in in uh, Photoshop you can be your own teacher so you can help yourself to see what's the problem with your drawing in uh, with this technique so uh, you can see again easily that this is the sketch and when I move it over I can tell the problem and I can always use the brush and just simply draw over the lines like here and just show myself that these important parts of the drawing and also the face should be here somewhere okay like this and then when I move back my sketch here on the right I can uh, use these lines to correct my drawing so this is exactly the same thing as having an art uh, teacher who helps you to see what's the problem with your drawing and believe me if you practice doing this and you make several uh, sketches from photographs you will improve your drawing skills really quickly and efficiently so with Photoshop you can be your own teacher and you can learn anatomy you just need to find good uh, photo references let me show you what kind of references uh, do I like to use uh, so here in Bridge I have a couple of examples uh, these images are great where you don't have the the usual standing figure but you have quite complicated movements and I really like to use dense movements when I practice drawing but this is a bit more advanced you can always uh, start with easier photo references but I just show you a couple of one quickly so it's great to work with these because you get to know uh, the shape and form of the body and uh, and the proportions if you practice Im with images like these and obviously if you're drawing people it's always good to have naked pictures just to see all the details like on the muscles and on the skin and you can even see on some parts uh, the bones also good to draw uh, from photographs where you have more than one person and you can see the interaction the tension between them and if you find a good reference you can create one sketch from it and then try again next time so you can use the same reference to practice uh, for several times until you get it right without any uh, corrections sketching and drawing is similar to learn the piano for example it's all about practice so the the more times you try to draw the same image or drawing from the same reference the better you will get every time so each time you improve you just have to be very patient this is also another great example which you can use uh, to draw from and then there is another interesting way to use references on the computer it's called virtual pose and I will show you the website where you can find uh, this application it's actually a movie file a MOV file this uh, example and I'm going to use a preview just to show you how it works so with this file I can click on the image and turn it around to see all the details on it so I can find an angle which I prefer to draw from 
And this is the website where you can purchase these products. So virtualpost.net. I highly recommend to use these as references as well. I think they are even better than just using a simple image because you can because you can always turn it around and see properly the whole human figure. But as I said, it's not that essential to have references. You can always use your imagination. But if you want to improve your skills to make sure that your human figure is good in proportions, then first you should practice from references. After several hundred of sketches, you will be able to draw on your own without any references. So you will have a really good idea about the human figure and you will be able to come up with uh, poses on your own without any references. There's a couple of more things it's good to know when you are drawing from a reference. It's good to know that you can use the rulers. If you go to view menu and choose rulers and then click on one of the rulers, like on the top for example, you can set these guides to help you align specific parts of uh, your drawing or of your sketch to the photograph. So you can set these points where you need to make sure that you are following those lines, for example, like this point as well, the legs, and then the shoulder, and so on and so forth. So you can already see that here on the shoulders, uh, I have a problem. So the shoulder should be more to the top, and also the hand should be more uh, towards uh, closer to the head. So as I said, the whole upper body should move a little bit upwards. You can always hide them. Under the view menu you can find show and just simply turn off guides if you don't want to see them. To draw a sketch I usually use the brush tool with a small brush size. Usually I set it up around 3 pixels. The hardness I keep it usually on 100%. But you can always change the opacity of the brush. So like this is how it looks like, my line drawing. But if I set it, for example, to 30%, I just simply press 3 on the keyboard, and that will change the opacity of my brush, then I will have an even uh, less opaque, uh, more transparent uh, line. So it's more faded. But again, it's up to you how you prefer to sketch. Maybe you, you like to work with solid lines. Maybe you like to use these faded lines. But here in Photoshop, it's really simple to make changes to the opacity of your brush. And now that we've talked enough about uh, the importance of sketching, I would like to show you complete sketching from a reference example. And I will speed it up just to make it quicker. But you will see uh, the whole workflow from start to finish. So the final image will be still a rough sketch, but that's the foundation of the final painting. So let me set up the document first of all. I go to Bridge and I open the image, which I would like to use. So this is the image that I'm going to use for uh, drawing, for uh, creating my sketch. I select the crop tool and I select the whole image and then I just simply create enough space here on the right for my drawing. Okay, so this is how I set it up and then I create a new layer. Okay, I make sure that I don't draw over this layer so I lock that layer and I select my drawing layer which is on the top. I select my brush and I can start drawing after this. So first of all I just create the lines quickly and as you can see I'm just quickly sketching up all these details and uh, first of all the movement is more important so you have to capture the whole uh, movement and just don't bother first about the details just draw quickly with these sketchy lines and once you have a foundation you can also try to emphasize the volume that's why I'm drawing over some of the parts so inside uh, my outlines as well uh, now I use the rulers or the guides 
to see uh, the problems, the alignment problems. And I already see that on the head I need to make some corrections. Uh, then I will probably redraw the arm as well. Yeah. So now after I did these uh, changes, so I can tell that I had some problems thanks to the guides, I moved it over the reference image and I make again some corrections. I still see that uh, the leg on the bottom or the feet has to be corrected. I'm working more on the outlines and I'm trying to uh, define the shape. Now I'm again moving over the image and I see uh, the problems. So this is the part like when the uh, teacher comes and helps you to find the problems on your on, on the alignment or proportion problems. So again, uh, once again, I draw over the head. That's the that's a bit difficult because always if you, if your model has a hair, that can uh, make a difference. So first, I like to draw it without the hair. So you need to guess where the skull is, and uh, I'm doing the same thing. I'm moving back and forth uh, my model uh, and the sketch just to see. Uh, the problems that I have and I'm getting close now I just need to fix some of the lines on the legs and finally I will concentrate on the upper body I'm just erasing some of the lines because I had too much sketchy lines so I just uh, clarify a bit the whole drawing and now I can see that the, the upper body has to be fixed and also the arm on the top so I'm working on those parts a bit and still uh, some lines on the upper body has to be fixed I'm going to check and I will see that on the arm on the right uh, side which is the left arm I have had to fix some lines again and still uh, the bottom line of the upper body has to be fixed and I try to guess uh, the lines so the shape of the of the chest and uh, I try to find all these lines and fix them properly and I think this is good as a foundation so thanks a lot for your attention I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it useful and uh, remember try to practice as much as possible um, to improve your skills your sketching skills in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about colors, so how to work with colors and how to set up a color palette. I will also show you a quick uh, speed painting using colors. You, so make sure that you come back next time and continue learning about digital art with me. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.